What is going on guys, FMU here. This is a really random, out of the blue, out of nowhere video for you. I want to talk about the forgotten man, a football manager, and really a football, because when he first came along, he was expected to be something big. You know, he was... Move my mobile out of the way so you don't get none of that interference. Um, Stefan Moore, right? His brother Luke Moore, we all know. He's, he was the person who won a car for scoring, the for, for being the first player to score against Chelsea one season and blah, blah, blah. Well, Stefan Moore was supposed to be the next big thing. He was fast. He was strong. I mean, in UT football, he was just smashing goals in left, right and centre. Uh, but it never worked out for him. Now, maybe that'd be because of attitude, injuries, whatever. But, right, I've just watched MK Don score a third against Swindon. MK Don's been brilliant today. Um, <clears throat> so he came through at Villa, right? He had that season where he played 13 games, got one, then eight, one, and one, got none. And he went out on loan to a few league clubs, um, QPR, Leicester and uh, Millwall didn't do much signed for QPR on a free right and got a couple of goals didn't do brilliantly went out on loan to Port Vale got a goal QPR went back there got another goal out on loan to Warsaw 5 and 1 went out to to get a minister on a free after that got one in 18 then he dropped down to the southern premier division where he got 35 in 41 Season after, he gets four in eight. Moves to St. Notes, right? Gets eight, uh, 30 in 28, then 33 in 29. And the following two seasons, he gets 10 and 10. Now, I can't remember. We, ah, that was it, right? So he's at Leamington. And then they loan him out to Brackley uh, after he got 13 goals. And he goes back. Back to Leamington where he gets not 13 goals, uh, 9 goals in 13. And he gets 12 in 19, right? And then there's this bizarre situation where um, Leamington and Brackley were sharing him. Or was it Leamington and Solihull? One of the two. It was either those two or those two were sharing him. So, like, he would play one week for one club, one week for the other. And it doesn't really represent it on here, but he got a lot of goals playing for both teams. Very bizarre. And then, uh, this is a personal save, not one that I'm doing on YouTube or anything, but I brought him in and I thought, I'm gonna, well, I saw him and I thought I'm going to bring him in and I'm going to see how he does. Now it says, right, and it says here, look, isn't good enough to play for Exeter City. Well, he's just scored two in this game that I've just played, so this will be going up a bit. But before this, he got five and four, so that would say he's fairly decent. He's a bit of a chunky lad now, isn't he? But um, he's 31 now, and he's such a wasted talent. But what I want to do is I want to show you some of the goals that he's scored for me, our football manager, because I think, right, I think if you're in the lower league, like League 2, Conference, Conference North, or whatever, Conference South, and you can get Stefan Moore, I reckon he will bag you an absolute bucket load of goals because he's done brilliantly for me and they're not just been tappings either he's got some cracking goals but uh, let's just go and let's just have a look at a few of the goals shall we right so this is his opening game this is against uh, Cheltenham right and uh, he gets his first goal for us literally I think I, I can't remember if he brought him on as a sort no he's, I think I started him actually I think I just thought screw it I'll start him so there's a lot of passing and manoeuvring going on here. And then Oakley sends him through. And look at that. That's just a simple, you know, watches his run, moves on, taps it in. First league goal, 51 minutes in. Then Brian Howard gets one for the penalty spot. So we won't worry about that. Right. But he then follows it up by getting his second. And he did actually have a third disallowed. But um, I get his movement in the middle. He just seems to find a bit of space. Look, he's continuously moving backwards and forwards. Sort of messing. And then that's a beautiful ball. And then he's there for the header. Now, it looked to me a little bit as if it just boinged off his head, to be fair. Rather than, you know, his look rather than judgment, I think, with that. But, still, two goals on his debut. You know, you can't argue with that. So this is his next game. We lost to Wimbledon, but... 
Look at that. He, how he just lies. Let's just have a an, another look at it. Watch how he just lingers over here. Look. Just comes in and then just... Oh, no, that's not the goal. Silly me. The goal's coming now. It's the way he just sort of hangs around there and just sort of saunters in and boom, have it. And we get 2-0 down against Oxford and he plays the role of super sub because he comes on. Let's get this a little bit up here. And he scores after coming on off the bench to equal. I mean, that there, how they didn't get a free kick for Matty Oakley just kicking the crap out of two players. But there, look at that. Just watch this. Right? Just watch his control and movement here. Let me just, let's just, let's just slow this bad boy down. Right? Now watch this, Howard's got the ball here, Harley picks it up, and watch, he runs over there, then watch him, just the way he, he, he sort of goes one way, then pulls the other, and the defender's like, what the hell just happened to me? You got Stefan Maud, my friend, that's what just happened to you. And then we come in here against Cambridge, right, and again he comes off the bench, and this one, there's no... Like jinking around. This is just pure power. Look at him down here in all of this space. Down here in all of this space, right? Circumcy pass it to Howard. He finds Saunders. Saunders pumps out and watch this. One touch, bang, have it. Superb finish. Cheeky, yeah, I know what I've just done. Kind of celebration there. And that is the third goal. His fifth of the season. And again, we are just you know, you know, we're just walking it. And this is last time out against Pompey. Harley there. Great save from the keeper. But Ribeiro picks it up again. Sam Saunders slots it into Moore. Who they've left on his own. Simple goal. That's his sixth goal of the season. And then um, he scores again to make it seven for the season for him. Puts us 2-0 up. Pretty much as well, pretty much straight from the kickoff. Let's just zoom it forwards a little bit because we are watching it in very slow here. But Brian Howard picks up the ball, turns it back to Ribeiro, and then uh, Sam Saunders tried to cross it, didn't come off. Harley's shot hits the bar, and then watch him here, look. Capital, just watch him, waiting for that mistake. Knows that if he runs in, he's not going to get anything really, but. When they uh, when they make the mistake, he is there to capitalise on it. No doubt about it. So, guys, that in a nutshell is our boy Stefan Moore, right? Now, I used to sign him all the time on the very you know on the old Championship managers and stuff when he you know around two thousand two thousand and one and when he was at Villa and stuff. Um, and I used to think, he, I used to love him as a player. Um, so it's just a bit of a trip down memory lane. And I thought, I'll bring him in. You know, what arm is it going to do? And it's worked out really, really well for me so far. Uh, but, you know, surely that's not going to last. But um, let me know, guys. Did you used to sign Stefan Moore back in the day? Uh, what did you think of him back then? Was he terrible for you? Was he decent for you? Just let me know. Drop in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that's it for this extremely random, out of the blue, out of nowhere video that I just randomly thought, I'm going to do this now. So uh, hence the reason I've probably bumbled my way through it a bit. But thanks for watching. Your support, as always, is key to my life of survival. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you another time. Goodbye.